Um, today I'm going to be talking about the rook piercing because I got it done there. And um, I'm going to be talking about how they got it pierced. Oh, I got a message. I'll read that laugh after. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about rook piercing and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you're considering getting it done, um, this is my experience sort of from like what I felt. So before I was getting my rook pierced, like a few weeks and days before thinking about getting it done, I've done some research about like the, the pain, how to care for it and stuff like that. And I got found like a load of reviews saying that it does hurt. Some people said it really hurt, some people said it didn't really hurt. And so I kind of got worried because a lot of reviews said that they did hurt. And so I was like, oh, I don't matter, it's just pain, just like a quick thing. So I'm going to be talking about like how they did it. First of all, they got a pen and marked it like where they want it on my ear. I'll show you where I didn't get the piercing. Your rook is this bit here. That bit there. And so they marked it and said if that is that okay, is that where I want it? I was like, yeah. And then they got the jury out of the cupboard and because they only had silver, I got silver. I wanted to gold, but they said no, they don't have any gold. So I was like, mm, okay, because all my earrings are gold. I've got my cartilage pierced, and that's gold. I've got my bottom bit, well, my lobe pierced, and that's gold. I did have my second one pierced, but that's kind of closed up, but I'm going to re-pierce it. So I had silver. They got the jewellery, and they took the, the ball with the top it off. They clipped it onto this scissor-looking thing. So I kind of clipped it on so it's ready to like put through. Uh, then they told me to lay down on this like little bed thing and lay on my left because I put my piercing on my right ear. And then because the guy served me, he was like, you ready? And I was like, yeah. And he just like kind of went for it. He didn't like count me in or anything. So yeah, he went for it. And when he pierced it, he left the needle in my ear and then... Then because he pierced it, he left the needle in my ear, but I didn't really feel that bit. I just felt like slight discomfort. So there was no real pain. But in my experience, I handle pain quite well. Then he got the jewellery, which was something like this is a thing. And he got the needle and the, like, the scissors with the jewellery in. He only kind of like fed it through, at both like, at the same time. So he took the needle out while he, took, while he put the um, piercing through. And once the piercing went through, he got the ball and like kind of screwed it on, and that was really it. So there wasn't really put like real pain. It was like just discomforting. Um, the only thing that I felt that that was like it wasn't really pain, like more discomfort, was when he left the needle in, and when he like kind of like pushed the um jewelry through. But apart from that, I didn't really feel pain, it was just like more discomfort for me. Um, after like getting it done, it felt really hot and warm. And after a while, it did get a bit numb. But after like a few hours, it slowly went down, so it was alright. If you're watching this video and other videos and you're like reading a lot of reviews about getting your rip pierced, in my opinion, getting your rip pierced and the pain depends on how you take pain. Um, I take pain really well, so it's alright. So I don't really feel anything, just more like discomfort. But if you take pain like badly, then it's gonna hurt, you know? It's gonna like. But it, it'll be fine. It'll do, it's not long procedures, it's within like a minute procedure, if, if that. And I think like it also depends on like where you get it done and how they do it. Because some places. Like, I've seen on, like, reviews on YouTube, like, they got this, like, little silver thing, like, a needle. They kind of, like, kinda, like, poke it through. And I've seen other ways they do it on YouTube. And the way they did mine, like, just a simple needle, like, just poke it through. And so, if I were you just go in and ask if you're, like, no, if you're, like, really concerned on how they pierce it, 
um, just go and ask like how you pierce the vocal email or some something. But in my opinion, piercing it with just like a plain needle is just probably like the best. Getting your rook pierced is only done with a needle because of the placing. Um, when you get a pierce, so you either get it with a like a little circle kind of ring thing that goes in your ear, or you get a curved one like mine, or you get a straight one. And those are the only thing three I think you can get. Um, the place I got it was Adrenaline. Um, the only place I got the only reason why I went there because I got my cartilage done, and I thought like I trust that place; it went fine. It healed really well. And so I thought, I'll go back to the same place and get my Rook Pierced. So yeah, that's my review on the Rook Pearson. And if you get it done, I hope it goes all well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I've also had like a few emails saying, show my toes. So, toes. I don't know why, but they've asked me to show my toes. And on my previous, um, um, uh, what do we call it? Video, yeah, the video. Um, I've had some suggestions on how to make myself sneeze. So, I think it was DLK1, DLK1, who said to make myself sneeze either by getting a makeup brush and tickling myself with it which I've tried and don't work or rubbing my nose now I just casually just rub my nose like that cause it's like a bit of itch or something but now nah, apart from that don't work so yeah thank you all everyone who commented on my last um, video and sent messages about it thank you for all your suggestions and stuff so yeah thanks and keep commenting, liking and subscribing